Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may or may not notice that I have cut my hair. I've had it chopped for the summer. Actually, I wanted to do this quite a while ago now, but I was trying to leave my hair long for the wedding, to have a wedding hairstyle. So I was um, always wanting to go with this length. Um, it's just like, I would say mid length, um, maybe like boob length, if you want to be more specific. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give it a chop and change my look up for the summer and also it's just so much more fresh and lighter and more easy to manage and especially in the hot weather, the last thing I need is to be blow drying my hair for like 20 minutes straight. So um, yeah, it's a lot more manageable and I actually went to the hair salon and you may notice also that it's been lightened. I got it cut and coloured in um, a hair salon. Um, that I normally go to um, in Covent Garden in London um, and I put all the information down below in the information bar of like where it is, the location, what I got done but I basically got them to do it quite blunt because I think that this length of hair looks a little bit more edgier when it's blunt and um, yeah I just asked for a cut and a colour um, a bit lighter um, I think I just personally prefer lighter hair for the summer. But anyways, enough of my hair talk. I'm going to get into my July favourites. So this July I have found some amazing, amazing things. Um, July was a bit of an up and down month for me. If you watch my vlog videos then you would have known. But because I was um, getting married in July, um, from May to June and July, um, I was testing out a lot of makeup. Um, just so that I could figure out what to use on my wedding day because I did my own wedding makeup and one of the first things that I really liked and actually use on my wedding day and I would recommend to a lot of people is the Benefit Pore Freshenal I use this as my primer I've had this for a long long time but for some reason I just didn't use it it's one of those products that you try and then you just put in your makeup drawer and then you kind of forget about it but um, I used this for my wedding and I've been using it ever since and especially when it's hot outside I feel like it really helps um, to minimise my pores and also makes my um, makeup stay on a lot longer and it becomes less oily around the t-zone area I do not put it on all of my face, I only put it on um, the t-zone like my nose, here, forehead and maybe just a little bit down here where I have like open pores but um, definitely not all over the face but I really like it and I, I'm i not sure why I didn't use it earlier on like why have I just started using it yep so Benefit Pore Freshenal Ugh. and the next item that I think is friggin amazing is the Ica Sport Waterproof Mascara and I was testing out a ton of waterproof mascaras because I am a real tear jacket and I knew for a fact that on my wedding day I was going to get very emotional from start to finish and I needed a very strong not just waterproof mascara but a very strong waterproof mascara and I found it it's the Ica Spot waterproof mascara and I found it in Space NK by accident actually I was actually going to use another mascara but then when I was paying at the till I I kind of like saw this on the corner of my eye and I was like, hmm, sounds interesting. If it's a sport waterproof mascara then it must be pretty good because when you're doing sports you get kind of sweaty and kind of wet. Um, so I just gave it a go and gave it a try, I didn't really think much of it and then I ended up falling in love with it. Even though I'm not getting married still, um, I'm already married, I'm still using this every single day. I have it on today on my eyelashes. The squeezy tube, because normally when um, mascaras, when you're trying to get more product, you might end up doing that, which in fact can dry out the mascara because you're pumping, because uh, you're pumping air into the mascara. But with this, you can just give it a good squeeze and load up the brush. And yeah, I like it. So I'm not sure what took me so long to jump on the bandwagon. This has been a really popular concealer within like the blogging and the YouTube world. And I'm not sure why. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm a little bit late on everything. Because I just don't tend to buy into too many things. But then when I bought into this, I was like, oh my god, freaking hell, this is amazing. And it's the NARS um, Creamy Concealer. And I have it in medium one custard. 
and I just love it so so much because it's so creamy, so blendable and it does not go cakey. I find that concealers with high coverage can sometimes become cakey and especially halfway through the day it just um, gets dried up and enhances the spot even more um, but this one doesn't do that at all and I just love it so much. I don't use it on my under eyes however, I use it um, on my blemishes, on my dark spots and stuff like that and it works really well. It feels like a foundation but with the coverage of a concealer and I'm definitely going to go back and pick up a few more colours because I might pick up um, a lighter colour for the under eyes and then like maybe a darker colour for contouring. A little bit pricey for a concealer but it is so worth it. Speaking of NARS, I also picked up their highlighter and it's such a cult product. Again, I'm not sure why it's taken me so long to buy it. It's NARS Albatross and it's a really gorgeous highlighter, like a champagne coloured highlighter with gold shimmer running through it. Well, not shimmer but like a gold highlight. I I'm not really a highlighter person, I'll admit it, because I have oily skin, so the thought of highlighters kind of like scare me, but um, for the past year or so I've been really experimenting with highlighters, especially on just like the small portions of your face, and like I don't put it everywhere, just like here along the nose, maybe underneath the eyebrows, just really subtly um, placed instead of like bam bam bam, and um, I really like it. It's, such a pretty colour, I don't own anything like it, I have quite a few highlighters now but I don't own anything as pretty as this, it's kind of like iridescent as well, it kind of, uh, it's just so unique and so pretty and um, yeah you've got to swatch it and try it to know what I'm talking about. So moving on to some non-beauty related items, um, I absolutely love these bracelets and um, they're by the brand um, Monica Finada and I just like them because I like to collect them. I have been wearing these so much for the past month. Um, these are the friendship bracelets and then this one is another friendship bracelet but it's on like a gold bar and I just love it so much. You can get it in like lots of different colours and they're really easy to wear and I like to layer them up. Um, so yeah, Monica Bernardo bracelets, really loving them right so now. Another thing I have been loving is an app and it is um, Spotify. I'm not sure why it's taken me so long to figure out Spotify. Um, I always thought it was just for like um, companies or something like that because I used to listen to it at work and I didn't realise that it was just an online streaming music service and ever since I've discovered it I've been listening to it every single day. I use it in my car I use it whilst I'm getting ready. I used to listen to like YouTube videos whilst I was getting ready and then when it finished I'd have to look for another YouTube video to listen to and that kind of got annoying. So I like how it's got the playlists and you can just like continuously listen to music and I have just been loving it so much and I've actually got Tommy into it as well. He started using it as well. So yes, yeah, Spotify is like my app of the month. So last but not least, this month I have been in a bid to get really organised and whilst I was shopping I came across these two notebooks. This one is called Eat and this one is called This Week and it kind of just like, um, it's like a planner notepad and it says um, dinner, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you can just write down for the whole week and plan your meals and then you put your breakfast here your lunch here and then your snacks here. I think it's just a really cute idea of planning and organising um, your meals because when you're trying to eat healthily and especially when you don't live with parents or anything and you have your own place, you always have to go food shopping and it's nice to know what you want to eat so that when you go food shopping you don't have to like think oh what shall we eat or miss miss out on anything so you just buy everything in one book. So that's been really handy for me. And also this one is called This Week and it just says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then next week. So it gives you the weekend off and it's just like what to do, like a tick list, it's got like a little tick box here so you can tick it off if you've completed the task. I just find this really cute and really handy and it's really good for like just jotting down ideas and planning things and keeping yourself organised. 
So that comes to the end of my video guys. Thanks for watching. I know it was a while since I uploaded a video but I'm back on full force and hopefully I'll be uploading two to three videos a week. So yes, enjoy your summer, enjoy your day, enjoy your evening and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys!